Are you using Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer, even Affinity Publisher, and you can't draw for nuts, just like me. So what you need is to convert your JPG or PNG files to SVG. And you can do this on your Mac or PC absolutely free using a command line tool. Well, I've got for Mac because that's the one I know most about. So let's see how we do this. In the Mac version this is, if you're running on a Mac, the first step is to open Terminal. You'll find that in your utilities. If you're not familiar with it yet, have a look for it, you'll find it. Click on Terminal and it'll show you a, a display something like the one on the right. It'll bring up a window like this. Now you need to see if you have Homebrew installed. This is the big part. It's a fantastic utility that can help you a lot. Simply type brew info where that command line is and if it's installed you'll see it say so give you some messages otherwise you'll get command failure brew not known something like that. So what you can do for the Mac version check for homebrew installation. If you haven't got it installed already then it won't be there by default. Everything you need to start is here. So go to that website, brew.sh, and you'll see the URL there where it says install homebrew. Just click on the copy there, the, the little paste thing at the right. Copy the URL and paste it into your open terminal shell. Just right click and paste. Press enter and follow the prompts. It will proceed to install homebrew for you. Doesn't take up much room. Takes a little while to install though, so just wait for it. Once Homebrew is installed and the install program has exited, and it does take time, so wait for it and you're ready for the next part, which is required. Watch for required prompts, but it's very easy. You only need to install Homebrew the once. After that, just update it occasionally. So to install Image Magic, do this and Image Magic is the magic program you need. Once Homebrew is installed at the command line type brew install Image Magic all one word there and you can see an example up on the right hand side there. Now Image Magic has a dependency and it's called Potrace or P.O. Trace, Po Trace, however you want to pronounce that. It's the one dependency you will need to Image Magic. That's Potrace. The conversion won't run without it, so install it now. Easy. Brew, install, Potrace. And just a few lines, that's what it looks like. That's it. Nearly there. Converting an image. So get yourself a JPG file, and I've got Comic Coloring JPG there. That's the one I'm using in a tutorial to do this. I always like to start with a JPG image and then it's as simple as typing magic comic coloring JPG comic coloring SVG. Now that's on the command line of your terminal. In the front of magic there I should have a little um, dollar sign which is the prompt I use on mine. I prefer to get my line art images from mid journey or, or a discord connected to mid journey which is far easier to use. Too easy just for test work. And that's what it looks like. That's what I've got back from Mid Journey. I'm also on the Mac. Image Magic is also available for the Windows platform, but I'm not familiar with how it's used on, on uh, Windows. You can see that on the right is my converted document. No mess, no fuss. And most of all, free. Yes, and there on the right is my converted document. No mess, no fuss, and as I say, most of all, it's free. As always, some, con some files convert better than others. Caveat utilitor. Very nice. Your own SVG file to ink and colour as you like. Perfect for those of us with absolutely no drawing skills. And that's me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little episode.